So if you want to know why Noah cursed Canaan and not Ham, that's what we're going to cover and answer in today's video. So let's get into it. So first things first, why do you think Noah decided to curse Canaan and not Ham when Ham's the one that sinned? Let me know in the comment section below. So there's loads of questions people have in regards to Ham and Ham's sin and Noah's curse and Canaan being cursed ultimately. And if you want the full context about all of these different answers, we've got videos for pretty much all of the different questions that come up in regards to the situation in Genesis 9. And I've got a whole playlist I'm going to put up here so you can watch all of the different videos we have in regards to this situation. So make sure you watch it next. What we're going to talk about today is mainly covered in Genesis 9, verse 24 to 27, okay? And what you're going to discover about this situation is, despite all of the different thoughts and thinking behind why Canaan was cursed and not Ham, and what actually happened with Ham's sin, etc., it really comes down to two main reasons, okay? When you get rid of everything else that doesn't really make sense and you kind of line up what is the likely scenario of what happened why Canaan's curse it comes down to two scenarios so the first one we're going to talk about is actually quite popular but the really interesting thing is the second thing that I'm going to cover which no one really talks about okay and I'm going to share it with you and why it probably makes the most sense as well okay so the first thing that people determine in regards to why Noah cursed Canaan and not Ham is because People go to verse 22 of Genesis chapter 9 where it says, And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And they basically take that and say, Ham had relations with his mother. Okay? And what they basically say in regards to that is that because had ham, because ham had relationships with his mother and canaan ham's son was the fruit of this situation okay and because of that noah says i'm gonna curse the son because of ham having relationships with his mother okay now some of you might be looking at this thinking what on earth why aren't, would he do that, okay? And that's what some people think. So what some people do is they say, no, it wasn't his mother. They say it was his stepmother, okay? Noah married another woman. Now, the problem that happens with this is, okay, there's literally zero piece of evidence in the Bible, okay, that that happened, okay? And even in regards to him having inter, inter, intercourse with his mother, okay? Look at verse 21, okay? What does verse 21 say? It says, Noah was drunk from wine and he was uncovered, okay? So Noah was drunk. And then it says, he was uncovered. So if I simply just said to you, okay, there was this guy, he was drunk and was uncovered in his bedroom. Most people would say, okay, the guy was drunk and he was naked, okay? Which makes sense. So Ham having relations with his wife with Noah's wife makes little sense because it says Noah was drunk and he was uncovered. Okay, it was he was the one that was naked. More so to the point, what does verse 23 say? It says Shem and Japheth. What did they do? They took a garment and went backwards and covered their father's nakedness. So in order for this to mean that Ham had relations with Noah's wife, okay, his mum or his stepmom, this would have to mean that Shem and Japheth went in backwards and covered their mum, okay, or the stepmom. 
doesn't really make much sense. Okay? So that's the first reason. The first reason is Canaan was a child of sin. Okay? And we can pretty much see how it has a lot of holes in it. Okay, whether you think it was a stepmom or whether you think it was <coughs> his own mother. Okay. Verse 21 says Noah was drunk and was uncovered. And verse 23 says Shem and Ham, Shem and Japheth covered their father's nakedness and went in backwards and covered their father's nakedness. We did another video which talks about who was involved in the sin of Ham. I'll post it up there. But there's nowhere where it mentions Noah's wife or their mother. Okay. Um, why wouldn't it just mention the mom? Okay. Earlier in the chapter, in the previous chapters, it talks about Noah and his wife and Shem, Ham, and Japheth and their wives. So why wouldn't it just say Ham had relationships with Noah's wife or his mother, etc.? Okay. Number two. This is the one that most people don't really grasp. This is the one that most people don't really grasp, and this is the one that I think probably makes the most sense. Okay. So. This one is what I stick behind and what I probably think is the most legitimate reason. I believe that Ham literally looked at his father while he was drunk naked, okay, and they went, to, went and told his two brothers, okay. They went to cover him, Noah wakes up, and the reason Ham was not cursed but Canaan was cursed, first it was because Noah couldn't curse Ham, okay? This is the first part to it. There's a second part I'm gonna to get to in a minute, which is probably the, the, the thing that most people don't understand. Why couldn't he curse Ham? Well, what does verse one say in chapter nine? It says, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, okay? God blessed Noah and his sons. That's the first reason Noah could not curse Ham. Because God had blessed Ham. And even though he did this wickedness, God had already, he'd covered by God's blessing. Okay? So that's the first part. The second part to this is, okay, I can understand why Noah wouldn't curse Ham, okay? Because Ham is blessed. But how does Canaan get into this? Well, when you go to Genesis 10, I believe this gives you the answer. Okay, verse six. What does it say? We get information about Ham and his children. Ham had four children, the scripture says in Genesis 10, okay? Cush, Mizraim, Pup, and Canaan. What does this have to do with anything? I believe, and I believe the reason Canaan is cursed, okay? is because Canaan, I believe, was Ham's youngest son. What does that have to do with anything, Canaan, his youngest son? When you go to Genesis 9, verse 24, what does it say? It says, And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him okay so i believe noah wakes up realizes that ham has done this wickedness can't curse ham because god had blessed noah and his sons including ham so noah says you know what i'm gonna do because you're my younger son okay probably his youngest son i'm going to curse your youngest son as a symbol that 
you are my youngest son and you did this wickedness and because of that I'm going to curse your youngest son. So these are the two reasons, the two main reasons what it comes down to when you think about why Canaan was cursed and not Ham, okay? Noah couldn't curse Ham and a byproduct there is that Canaan was his youngest son like Ham was Noah's youngest son and I think when you put everything together this is probably what makes the most sense okay Ham sinned Noah can't curse Ham because God's blessed him okay so he says because Ham's my young my youngest son my younger son I'm gonna curse your youngest son okay or your younger son Canaan and that's why Canaan's cursed that's what I believe truly okay and when you follow the narrative this is what makes the most sense not that Ham had relations with his mum or his stepmom and then nine months later he has a baby called Canaan and then Noah decides to curse him okay doesn't really make much sense or some people believe that Canaan had relations with Noah's wife or did something to, to, Cain, to, to Noah doesn't really make sense okay follow the narrative and read what it actually says and that's what actually makes the most sense when you really think about it in regards to the scriptures so on that note thanks for tuning in this is why i believe canaan was cursed and not ham let me know what you think below in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video thanks and take care